one thing that we always think about, we think, oh, China is the engine of global growth. And so therefore the world is reliant on it. That's not true. China is not an engine of global growth. Yes, they've got a lot of growth, but they're not the engine. Because to be an engine of global growth, a country has got to buy the goods and services of other countries to create growth elsewhere. And what China has done through predatory trade policies and through the theft of intellectual property has taken growth from other countries. So yes, countries have relations with, with China. Australia, for instance, sells them a lot of iron ore. But that iron ore is put into products that end up you know, in the shelves of Europe and the United States. So I, I think that essentially Australia will be selling to India or Vietnam or someplace else for sales to the U.S. These global supply chains, if they are forced, will readjust. Um, and they're already doing that anyway for a number of reasons. You know, Xi Jinping has been pushing companies out of China. Also, President Trump's so-called trade war has been pulling companies out of China. I think that that process will accelerate. Uh, because of the coronavirus epidemic, we are going to reduce our, our, our reliance on China as a producer of pharmaceuticals and uh, obviously medical protective equipment. So these things are going to happen anyway, but I think that they're certainly going to be accelerated and they should be accelerated. I don't think they're the engine. Obviously, I know U.S. is 100% the engine. There's no question about that. I'm 100% capitalist. I, we escaped Iran to go to Germany refugee camp to come here because this is the American dream. Nobody wakes up and says the Chinese dream. They say the American dream. It's only one kind of a dream. But uh, 1.6 billion is a lot of people, you know, and when you can produce things for nothing by a communistic government ran on a, you know, wink, wink, capitalistic economy controlled by national, I mean, so it concerns me to know 17% and it concerns me to know how many countries are relying on them.